Will we ever see the rematch between Connor and Khabib? I don't know, Pete. Connor wants it to happen. Connor wants to avenge because this is what Connor does. When Connor loses, he likes to go back and fight and to avenge that. So, yeah, you beat me, but I came back and beat you. Right now, Khabib has not given him that opportunity to avenge that loss, Skip. Mm -hmm. For me, I don't look. The question is, what's, what, what motivates Khabib? If he's motivated by money, because this thing will do astronomical numbers. Just astronomical. He'll, he'll call all time, all time. Yes. He'll, yep. It'll be the biggest fight. It'll be the biggest fight in UFC history. Mm -hmm. Well, then, I don't, because it's not going to be a live gate skill, because this, they're going to want this fight to happen sometime in, say, what, the next six months? And so you're probably going to have to do it on Fight Island, and Dana White's done a great yep. job of having that. So you're not going to do the 17 to $20 million live gate, mm -hmm. but the pay-per-view buy, buy, yep. buys will do huge numbers. Mm -hmm. I don't see it changing because I still look at Connor as a one-dimensional fighter. He's a stand-up fighter. And if you if you stand up more times than not, he's going to get you up out of there. But even though he stood up, Khabib stood up with him a little bit, oh, he no, couldn't get him no, out. No. He walked Khabib through the bunch. traded punch for punch yeah. with him in the middle of the octagon. And then guess what happened, Skip? He took Connor down, and then Connor spent the next three and a half minutes trying to get up off the mat. He's, he's not a, 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 a well-rounded fighter. Khabib can fight a multitude of styles. Oh. The guys that have staying power can fight a multitude of ways. They can fight from the ground. They can, you know. Connor is just basically standing, and I get you out of here with, with a left. Catch you coming in with a shot, and that's how he normally, that's the way he got Jose Aldo out. That's how he normally gets people out of there. So I don't look at Connor as a guy that I don't believe he can beat Khabib if he fights him again. The question is, does this fight motivate Khabib enough mm. to get back into the ring? I don't think he's motivated by money. But so how is Dana going to coax him? He said for his 30th fight, he wanted George St. Pierre. Dana said that ain't happening. Ain't happening. So nope. I, I don't really know where for Khabib to go except back to Carter. Maybe I should amend what I said about Tom Brady. There are actually two men in sports I don't bet against, and the other is Dana White. Dana White gets it. Because he gets what he wants. <laughs> he does. And he rules with the most iron fist of all. He controls the sport. Mm -hmm. And if he wants this to happen, in the end, you figure it'll just happen. <laughs> but what do we know about Khabib? A man of the fiercest principle. I mean, he he's lost about his, his fate. He, he lost his father yeah. last July, and his mother has made it clear she does not want him to fight right. again. Right. Conor McGregor not only insulted this man's religion before their fight, but this man's wife publicly insulted both. Mm -hmm. And he took it extremely personally. And he went and took it out on Connor. And it was close to Connor not being able to walk out of the ring. <laughs> and so, one reason, maybe the biggest reason people would buy the rematch is to see if Connor could literally live to tell about it. Mm -hmm. could, could he escape the ring alive? Right. Because th this man is serious he, business. He's he for real. He can choke you out. Mm -hmm. He, he has made it clear against some of his opponents that, that he let them off, you know, like, right. like he let them live, right. right? So, to me, I love Connor because he's the greatest showman in sports. He is. He was believe. again yesterday. But, again, will I buy his fight uh, tomorrow night against Dustin Poirier, who he already eliminated in a minute and 46 seconds back in 2014, just, just pummeled him right, right into submission? Yep, I'll buy it. And yet, what did he do to little Dustin Poirier? He, he called him a quiet little hillbilly before that fight. And Poirier <laughs> has admitted he, he intimidated me. He just overwhelmed me. Right. So will it be more of a competitive battle? Probably it will, but I expect Connor to win it. Now Connor's saying, I want to fight once a month, building up toward Khabib, which would probably be if it happens next fall. Right. Is, do I want to see it? Yes. Do if I, I don't know. I don't know if he can fight like I don't know if he can fight like that unless he's getting people up out of there. But if you can't, that that's not a sport like the old boxers used to fight. Skip every they used to. Every, they, used, they used to fight like five or six times a no, year. No, no, really. You can't yeah. fight. Not in that sport, Skip. It, it, it's too taxing. It's too grueling. But when I look at Conor, Conor reminds you a lot of Ronda Rousey. He, I mean, he, he's just he's one dimensional. Skip. He doesn't do anything. If he can't get you out there on his feet, that's it. This guy right here, he has a whole, he got a big old toolbox. He has a lot of tools in that box, and he can do it a lot of different ways. I don't see the outcome being different. Would I watch it? Absolutely, you I'm going to watch, watch it. it. Yeah, but I believe the outcome will be very similar because, like I said, I don't believe he's gotten better. What's his conditioning going to be like? Because that's what they do, Skip. They get him, late, get him into the deeper rounds. They drag him out there to the water, knowing he can't swim, and they drown him. 
That's what happened with Mayweather. Mayweather let him get to the deep round, but he was just out of gas. This kid let him get to the deep round, what, round four? Choked him out. And he wasn't too, he wasn't too anxious to let him go. The ref had to tap him separate. Right. No, I'm saying he, he wanted to <laughs> literally end it. Yes. Right? Yeah, we, we, when that man is that devout, when, when you find people that yeah. devout yes. about their faith. I agree. And you insult that, you insult the man's wife. Well, you, you, ask, you, you whatever you get, you deserve. I, I agree. <laughs> so I will give Connor this going into this fight. From all I've read, he has really recommitted to conditioning. He's gone to Portugal with this new group. And, yeah. And it Do sounds like cycling, his yeah. cardio is he said he was over, He said he was overtraining. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know, they would do this. And then he's like, I feel great. And he start doing other things. They're like, no, 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 we're done. We, we come back tomorrow. So we'll see. I'm, I'm going to watch, see what he got, see what he got in store. For. But uh, Khabib was a different animal, Skip. Agreed. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.